So the 2021 SummerSlam pay-per-view is officially in the books and man, what a show it was. It is definitely gonna be remembered for many years to come for some good reasons and bad reasons. I thought it'd be a pretty cool idea to name 10 WWE superstars who I believe need to switch brands in this year's draft. But I thought it would be a better idea to split this up into two YouTube videos. That way we could focus on the Raw superstars going to SmackDown in one video and the SmackDown superstars moving to Raw in the other video. But in this video, we are going to be focusing on the Raw superstars who need to switch brands this year. Let's get into it. I'm pretty sure this was quite obvious from the get-go. Drew McIntyre has been on Monday Night Raw since 2018. He has accomplished a lot since being there. He won the Raw Tag Team Championships with Dolph Ziggler. He won the Royal Rumble match. He won the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. And to be honest, I think a change in scenery for Drew McIntyre could do great things for his career going after the Universal Championship, renewing the rivalry with Roman Reigns. I think it is necessary for Drew McIntyre to head to SmackDown. Now, I know that Keith Lee just returned to Monday Night Raw last month, but to be honest, WWE have not been booking Keith Lee correctly ever since his return. He was booked very well in his debut on Raw, feuding with Randy Orton, but I feel like WWE sort of botched his return in a way, and I think a way to fix that is for Keith Lee to go to SmackDown. The new United States Champion, Damian Priest. Now, the reason I picked Damian Priest to move to SmackDown, it's because he is holding the United States title. And I believe the change of championship gold on another brand could be quite interesting. So I see the US title and Damian Priest going to SmackDown. To be honest, the reason I picked Rhea Ripley to be one of the superstars switching brands is because I feel like it is needed. Rhea Ripley won the championship at WrestleMania, and ever since losing it, I feel like she's been put in filler matches as of late, and I'm not really enjoying this booking by WWE with Rhea Ripley. And honestly, right now, as Becky Lynch is the SmackDown Women's Champion, I would love to see a feud with herself and Rhea Ripley in the future. So that's why I'm saying Rhea Ripley to SmackDown. Now, Jeff Hardy is a superstar. I don't understand why he moved to Monday Night Raw in the first place. He won the Intercontinental title last year when he was still on SmackDown. And when he was moved to Raw, I was kind of confused. I kind of expected him to stay on SmackDown because I really wanted to see him feud with Roman Reigns in the future for the Universal Championship. But we never got to see that feud. Now, I know Jeff Hardy has not had a lot of momentum as of late, but giving him some victories, moving to SmackDown, feuding with the champion Roman Reigns, I think that would do great things for renewing his career, fighting in the main event scene. I would love to see it. So I say Jeff Hardy to SmackDown. A woman who was so dominant in NXT, one of the most dominating NXT Women's Champions of all time. Now, it was promising when we saw Shayna Baszler first debut on the main roster, feuding for the Raw Women's Championship against Becky Lynch. But ever since that loss against Becky at Mania, her momentum has went downhill. Even winning the women's tag titles with Nia Jax has not been able to save Shayna Baszler. And they're teasing the breakup between Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna have a match in the future. So I believe what, no matter which way it goes between the two, Shayna Baszler needs to go to SmackDown. Now, Ali and Mansoor have recently united as a tag team and have been working together and Mansoor has been learning some things from Mustafa Ali as of late. And honestly, it's been really cool to see the chemistry between these two as a tag team. And honestly, I would love to see these two on SmackDown, you know. Right now, RK Bro are the tag champions. I don't really see Ali and Mansoor winning tag gold anytime soon in the future. But you know, moving to SmackDown, maybe feuding with the Usos for the tag titles could be really cool. So I say Ali and Mansoor to SmackDown. So The Miz just turned on his former best friend, John Morrison, on Moist TV this past Monday on Raw. And I'm going to let you know, it was pretty surprising. I knew that they were teasing the breakup for a couple of weeks, but I did not expect it to take place so, so soon. I'm expecting to see a match between the two at Extreme Rules. Hopefully we see that. But Miz has always switched brands in the draft. He's been switching brands every single year, and that needs to continue. Now, I 
would say John Morrison as well, but I think WWE are going to keep John Morrison and The Miz away from one another after their feud is over. So I say bring The Miz to SmackDown. Now, we have not seen Asuka in quite some time. I believe the last time we saw her was at Money in the Bank. I don't know where she's been. I don't know why WWE are not booking her on TV. I kind of miss Asuka on TV, you know. I think Asuka has been doing great things uh, over the last year. She won the Raw Women's Championship twice. She's had an incredible run on Monday Night Raw, but I think that run has come to an end. Now, Asuka should go back to Friday Night SmackDown. Ricochet is a superstar I believe can do fantastic on SmackDown with Paul Heyman in charge. You looked at Apollo Crews getting that push at Mania, winning the Intercontinental title. I think the same thing could happen with Ricochet going to SmackDown. Plus, he has not been on SmackDown yet since debuting on the main roster as a full-time SmackDown superstar. So I think it is about time for a change in scenery for Ricochet. I think it's time for him to fight for the Intercontinental title in the future. So I say Ricochet to SmackDown. All right, so that's gonna wrap up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like if you have not already and subscribe to the channel if you're a brand new to be a part of the Flaming Dynasty. And if you guys are interested in seeing the part two to this video, it will be coming out in the next few days. And this time we are going to be focusing on SmackDown superstars who need to go to Monday Night Raw. But until then, it has been EG Flames, and I'll see you guys in the next one.